What's up, music makers? It's Luke from Sojourner Tracks, and today I wanna to talk about how you can use your MIDI keyboard or other USB controller and write automation with it in Logic Pro. So if you're someone who labors over drawing each little dot of automation in there, trying to make nice smooth curves and whatnot, this is gonna be a video for you. It's gonna save you a ton of time. You can take your mod wheel, you can take a dial, a fader, whatever you've got available on your device and set it to write the automation with your hands the way that you would on a traditional mixing console. But before we get started, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you wouldn't mind, consider subscribing. This is the kind of content that I try to put out on a regular basis for Logic users. Let's get started. Okay, so once you've got your device connected to your computer, uh, whether that be a keyboard or some other kind of MIDI controller, like a mixer, the only thing you need to do in Logic is then go up to Logic Pro preferences and automation. Down here at the bottom, you'll find automation quick access. You wanna turn that to on, and then you're gonna to have to decide what control on your device you want to use to write automation. So on your keyboard, that might be like a modulation or a pitch bend wheel. On my Axiom Pro, I've actually got this bank of faders here, um, and those would uh, emulate like uh, the traditional faders on a mixer, for example. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of those. Um, and so you click learn message, and now it's gonna tell you to slowly move or turn the control up and down that you want to assign. So this is gonna give it uh, an idea of what the full range of this control is. So move that up and down a couple times, make sure that that uh, really gets locked in there so that Logic uh, can fully understand the movements of that control. And then you can click done. And now you are ready to write automation. I will note that you do need to then change your automation from read to either touch or latch. Now, latch is gonna write uh, brand new information. So it will it will rewrite whatever's whatever automation is already on there, it will overwrite that. So that would be like if you're starting from scratch, uh, touch will only write new automation when you're moving the control. So that would be more like if you're trying to punch in some automation over automation that already exists. So for the purposes of this, we'll use latch. Write, I do not know why write is in there. I know that's confusing, um, but even the manual says that that is generally un unnecessary. <laughs> So I'm not sure why it's there, but you want latch or touch um, and most likely latch if you're starting from scratch. So I'm going to play this and write in some volume automation just so you can see how this works. And now, like I said, if you wanted to go back then and change this to touch, then you could uh, touch up some of those. But as you can see, the ability to just do that, um, you know, in a tactile way, just using a fader instead of trying to draw in complicated stuff like this is really, really a huge time saver. And it's going to make you more creative, especially for those of you who do a lot of uh, synth stuff with a lot of different automations, you know, you're doing panning and effects. Um, being able to do that um, with a knob or a control is going to be uh, a game changer for you instead of trying to draw all those points in. If you found today's video helpful, of course, like and subscribe here on YouTube, but in the description below, you'll find links to my Patreon page, as well as my website where I have some free downloads for you. As always, thanks for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.